Hi everyone. Now today um, I'm just going to show you what I made in the end out of that. Um, this is a continuation of the last video really because I didn't feel that I held the things there long enough for you to really see. Um, I've reconfigured the camera. It's now hanging from the roof. So I hope that you'll get a really good, a much better look. Anyway, what I've done is, um, you know, these are the hearts that I this is where I've cut them out out of the scrap paper and these are some of the hearts that I ended up with um, so I'll just put them out here so you can get a good look at them and some of them I've actually sewn around because what I did after uh, I'd finished that session or actually last night while I was watching television is I um, cut out a lot of other shapes as well and um, this morning I went through and actually sewed some of them to other pieces. So I wanted to show you that. So these are some of the ones that we just, I just did the drawing, the doodling on. I'll move them out of the way and then I'll show you what I've done with some of the others. I've um, sewn them together here, sewn on them, um, sewn them with squares on. Um, so some of them are, are pretty little um, flowers and I've put some other scraps hanging out the back. This is a couple of butterflies together, some other scraps. Um, this one doesn't have any words or anything on it but it, you know it's amazing what you can do with these once you've got them. Now this is actually a little lesson that I learned. That's one from yesterday. Um, I'll bring it up so you can get a really good close-up shot. How's that? Yeah. Um, one of the things I have learned in the years that I've been doing mixed media art is that people who are really successful, when I say successful, I don't really mean successful, I mean who are prolific because I always wondered how people got the time to get everything done. Um, and I've found that those people actually sew up elements at other times so or they may sew or or paint elements at other times and they have them sitting around in little containers so when while they're doing the art they can fish through them and decide oh yeah that would look fantastic in the middle of that piece of art and they'll glue it on and then they'll add other color and other things other words stamps whatever to it and one of the reasons that I, well, one of the aha moments that I had uh, realising that that prolific people did this um, was when I went to see a lady in New Zealand called Isabel Isbell. I went to visit her and she was always extremely prolific. She did all sorts of art and she always had new stuff. And um, I sat down in her lounge, I wasn't even in her sewing room, and there was a little basket sitting beside my chair and it was full of AT ATCs that she'd made. And she said, oh, grab a couple, take them with you. And um, I was thrilled. I did take a couple with me, but she just had them sitting there. And, and she showed me some of her other bits and pieces of art. She actually had a wet room especially for anything she did wet and another room where she did all her sewing. Um, or where she does all the sewing and um, she loves to have work on little pieces of bits and pieces and then she has them available for her during when she's actually making the art piece. So I don't want to go on and on and on too long um, but I just wanted you to have a really good look at what you can end up with out of just your scrap material and why you mustn't really throw it away. Okay that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.